creature of darkness, for you have wandered beyond the reach of the light. Lift your sins, breathe deep the cold air. The path to redemption lies before you, if you have the faith to walk it. into your bones. Welcome your pain. For the agony of the flesh is the first cleansing of the soul. Make your faith stronger than any hurt. <laughs> For he has shown us the way. Ha! <laughs> 
Look into yourself. Find your faith. Feel how it fills the void within you. Remember, you are nothing without faith. Hold fast to the light and remember. one of us at least you heard from Prava I will soon but enough about that you're about to meet father Inarius himself not everyone comes back you know you'd better I, I owe you a stiff drink not sure but I've heard crazy rumors daft old monk if the unlucky bastard still lives, probably as cold in there as it is out here. It'll be ornate, that's for sure. Only the best for the one at the top. And remember, you are small. Wonderfully small. No, no, no. It's not about kneeling. It's about wonder. Oh, the light itself, divinity itself, radiates from that room. Though my flesh is cold and numb, my spirit is warm with reverence. What can we do but kneel? And so he was, until the sweet poetry of the prophecy rang out. To divine its message, he pilgrimaged deep into Sanctuary's heart. To meet? Uh, well, I shouldn't say. It pains me to withhold the truth of his light. But I sense it in you, Pilgrim. So I shall tell you. He went to speak with the first of his children, Rathma. The prophecy's true author. He emerged armed with sacred conviction. A holy battle at the center of the prophecy to be won by his blade. He has meditated here for years and years ever since, readying to meet fate head on. How do you know the warmth of the sun, the love of your mother, the beauty of a song? His presence is infectious. It takes hold in the soul. We are a void without faith, an empty well. The pious fill their cups with prayer. Mine overflows with his light. So near, so pure. 
I am changed. I am nothing. I am better. Isn't it beautiful? Traverse the Black Lake, and that cannot be done without your blessing. If I've learned anything during my time here, it is that what we're looking for, and what we need, are rarely the same thing. I once thought I could find an end to this war, but there has been no resolution, only more pain. Everything I've done has pulled me further from home, from the place I need to be. This world we made was born from the impossible, and yet, like its creators, it rots from the inside. I... I don't... Lilith has entered the ancient city. With your blessing, I can pursue her. This world has been wasted on the crusades of the unworthy. I can stop her. Hmm. This audience is concluded. A symphony of light. Look beyond the words themselves, and you will find truth. I could use your help. A dying knight mistook me for his confessor. He spoke of... sacrilegious things. He said his party of knights found a secret to life eternal. A red chalice. Said the bishop leading them ordered them to drink of it. Deep. He confessed they shelter now in a place he called the Sanguine Chapel. The chalice must be retrieved 
and I must leave. Find me at the Bear Tribe camp when you have it. Not much. I couldn't find any record of it. But the knight said it was right under the father's nose, through a side door beneath the Alabaster Monastery. The knight said they found the red chalice in ancient ruins, far underground. It was covered in dust, yet still full of fresh blood. He became... Disoriented after that, I could only make out a few words. Blood sermon. Sin. The man was petrified. Blessed are those who bask in the light. Let our faith be our armor against the encroaching darkness. Ah, you've returned. Come, let us speak inside. Out of the cold. From the Father's voice to my ears, a spear of light, piercing hatred's heart. First Lilith, then the Primes. He will deliver us from the eternal conflict. Vigo and I had a good conversation when he returned. He will do his penance. Trust that he is in good hands. Penitence. In the Heaven's eyes, creating humanity was a sin. They cast him down. Now he seeks redemption and the chance to go home. As prophesied, slaying Lilith is that chance. When he ascends, so shall we all. Yet you stand before me unscathed. I know his ways. That is approval enough for me. In the name of the light, I bless you. May the light flow through you and keep you from corruption and sin. Our victory is prophesied in the heavens.
something strange going on here. Nairel must be nearby.
Ugh! <laughs> 